Hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel Today we're going to be ranking football goats Greatest of all time Who is the best player to ever play the game Who is overrated Who is underrated Who is a future goat I got my own opinions on the situation It's a tier list right We got all these people right here Some people are missing We're going to be ranking this of my opinion so don't come at me with anything if you have your own opinion put them down in the comments down below let's start let's let's have a discussion anyway as you guys can see we got goat legend great future goat underrated overrated in the bin in the bin means get out of here i can't be bothered <laughs> <laughs> now how are we gonna rank this because the thing is i have my own thought process when it comes to this like i have a favorite player that's not Messi or Ronaldo or we're just gonna go on football basis or we're gonna go on accolades you know we're just gonna go on my opinion what I personally think how I feel about the player let's begin first up we've got Sir Bobby Charlton Manchester United legend England legend World Cup winner for England England's only World Cup hmm you see I'm biased right I would personally put him in GOAT I feel like there can only be one GOAT or two GOATs or three okay for this video, we're going to do max three goats. The rest must all be legends. Shoot, but there's so many. Ah, man. Okay. Okay. Sir Bobby Charlton, legend. Alan Shearer, what is accolades? I know he won a Premier League, and I think that's about it, right? I think he won some other stuff as well. He's the all-time goal scorer in the Premier League, which I think is going to be broken by Harry Kane at some point, unless he's moved to Bayern. It doesn't happen, because I think Harry Kane is going to go to Bayern, which means Alan Shearer will remain the top goal scorer in Premier League history. I'll put him in great. He is he's a great. Frank Lampard, legend. Absolute legend. Frank Lampard, Champions League winner, Premier League winner. He's won the lot. And I think Frank Lampard has to be up there. His stats, the way he played the game, everything he's done for the game. He is one of, if not, well, not the best midfielder of all time, but he's one of the best midfielders of all time. But I can't say the same about his managerial career. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Lions don't compare themselves to humans, huh? He didn't say yourself. I was expecting you to say me. Lions, they don't compare themselves with humans. <laughs> Yeah, Zlatan's a legend. It's, it's such a pity he never won the Champions League. Um, he won the Europa League with Man United, but that's about it, really. Roberto Carlos, legend. Sergio Aguero, he's a great. I wouldn't say he's in a legend category. It's not me being biased because I'm a Man United fan. I don't know. I, I, I think it's such a pity that he retired when he did. He retired quite young because... He had a heart condition when he played for Barcelona. Uh, I do prefer Zlatan over Aguero. Aguero is a great player. Didier Drogba. People are going to hate me for this. Underrated. I see too many people disrespecting Didier Drogba, bro. He's one of the best strikers to ever play in the Prem. And I'm not hearing it from anyone who says he's the most overrated striker there ever was. Didier Drogba won the Golden Boot two times. He won the most assists in the Premier League. One time, man of the match performance in the Champions League final. Bro, you cannot tell me that this guy is overrated. I hate it when people say, oh, Didier Drogba, pff, ah, he's not all that, he's overrated. Listen here, shut the hell up. Shut up. I'm not even a Chelsea fan. I don't like Chelsea. I dislike Chelsea so much. But I love Didier Drogba. And the fact that you guys are disrespecting him like that is outrageous. Robin Vam Percy. I love this guy with a passion. Being a United fan and seeing Robin Van Persie <laughs> leaving Arsenal, comes to United, wins the Premier League with Sir Alex Ferguson, goes back to the Emirates, guard of honor, clapping Robin Van Persie at the Emirates. Oh man, that was one of the best experiences I had in my entire life and I loved it. I love Robin Van Persie. Robin Van Persie for me is a legend. I don't care what anyone says. David Beckham, he's a great. Next up, we've got Kylian Mbappé. Kylian Mbappé. Future goal. After Messi and Ronaldo, you got Mbappe. World Cup winner. It's going to be a future Ballon d'Or winner. Maybe not this season, but in the following seasons. Kylian Mbappe is the future of football. He, look, he needs to move out of France. He needs to move to La Liga or the Premier League. He needs to go to either Real Madrid or Manchester United. If he doesn't move out to the French League or if he goes to the Saudi Arabia, yeah, then he will be ish. I'd, overrated i wouldn't put him in the bin but he will be overrated because you can't be going from the french league to saudi arabia and be a future goat because you need to be playing in europe you need to be competing in the champions league and all that so sergio busquets great 
Now, you know what? Underrated. People disrespect him too. Sergio Busquets does a lot of the dirty work, bro. He does all the work that people don't see and people don't recognize. Uh, I feel like he's very underrated. Ronaldinho, damn. Ronaldinho, top of legend. I love Ronaldinho. The way he used to play football with a smile on his face and all the trickery, the skills and the joy he had of the game. When you think of Brazilian football, you think of Ronaldinho. Next up, we have Wayne Rooney, my personal favorite football player of all time. What are you going to do about it? Wayne Rooney is a GOAT. I don't care what anyone says. He is the reason why I fell in love with football. He is aggressiveness. Bro, when you got that skinhead and you just tackle that guy for all city. <laughs> Bro, the, the mad goals, the bicycle kick, the Champions Leagues, the Premier Leagues, the grittiness, the leadership, the young kid that came from Everton and just smashed it and said, now we got the Manchester United, play with Ronaldo, Roy Keane. Bro, I love Wayne Rooney. He's my favorite player of all time. I'm pretty sure he's a lot of people's favorite players, especially if you if you're yeah especially if you are a United fan, he's a GOAT. And I love Wayne Rooney and I'll always back him. And yeah. Now we got Robin, the man cutting left foot goal. <laughs> uh, Robin's a great. Antoine Griezmann, World Cup winner, underrated. I, f I feel like his stint at Barcelona kind of tainted his legacy a bit, but he's a World Cup winner. He won La Liga. He should have came to United back in 2017, 2018. He should have joined us. He would have got the number seven shirt and he didn't join us. And I was so sad. Mesut Ozil, he's a great. Gerard Pique, Shakira man. <laughs> Gerard Pique. Great. Uh, the only thing that's bad about him is that he fumbled Shakira. That's about it, really. Neymar. I'm sorry. He does skills. Look, I appreciate... Look. I ain't gonna lie. I'm getting cooked. <laughs> He's a world-class player. No doubt. I love Neymar. He gets injured. And I'm not one of those people that likes people that gets tackled and fall on the floor just crying the whole time. I'm not one of those people. And also he has like some weird obsession with his sister's birthday that is never at the club when it's his sister's birthday. He should have stayed at Barcelona. I don't know why he went to PSG. I feel like if he stayed at Barcelona, maybe I would have appreciated him a bit more. Just the French league, I just can't get behind. But that night when uh, Barcelona played PSG and Barcelona came back, uh, Neymar was very good that night. I don't know. I just... I just can't get behind it. Gareth Bale, the most controversial player I think to have ever played the game when it comes to the Galacticos, Real Madrid, underrated. On his day, he's one of the best wingers to ever play the game and I don't care what anyone says. The, the pace, the shooting, the passing, the physicality of his game is nuts. Bro, the way Real Madrid fans treated him was absolutely disgusting. Gareth Bale won five Champions Leagues with Real Madrid. Bro, that game against Liverpool, he won it for you. The man scored a madness of a goal, a bicycle kick. Okay, yes, uh, Liverpool's goalkeeper, Karius, was an absolute mess at night. But it doesn't matter. Gareth Bale won you that game. At one point, it was 1-1. And you guys were stressing. <laughs> N'Golo Kante. Every man loves N'Golo Kante. Legend. I don't care. He's a legend. I love N'Golo Kante. And if you hate N'Golo Kante, you don't have a heart. Who is this? Is that Beckenbauer? I assume it's Beckenbauer because I can't really see the guy's face. Beckenbauer. Legend, of course. Kurt Muller. Legend. On the World Cup, R9, Ronaldo. Yes, sir. And then we got Puskas. We all know Puskas. 806 goals in his career. Hungarian footballer. Swimming great. Erling Haaland, future GOAT. At the moment, he just won the treble. He broke the all-time goal-scoring record in one season. He should be winning the Ballon d'Or this season and not Messi. It hurts that he plays for Man City. He should have joined United back in, what, 2019? We got this guy. You don't need to speak about him. Um, Mohamed Salah, great player. He won all the East winning the game. Rio Ferdinand, I think is personally one of the greatest centre-backs to ever play the game. But he isn't great. Jaden Sancho. <sighs> Jaden, Jaden, Jaden. I'm a United fan. I don't want to put him in overrated. I'm going to add a new role. Needs to improve himself. Yeah, Jaden Sancho, you go in there. We spent a lot of money on you, Man United, and you're not performing, so he needs to prove himself. Uh, for Foden, I don't think he's in the future GOAT. He needs to prove themselves. Kai Havertz, overrated. Uh, then we've got Saka. Premier needs to prove themselves. He's one of the best, if not the best, youngster in the world at the moment. Puyol, legend. Buffon, legend. we got Rivaldo. 
Legend, Brian Giggs, great. Thierry Henry, yes, legend. He goes into legend all day of the week. Steven Gerrard, yeah, you'll be in legend. Iniesta, legend, World Cup winner, League of winner, Champions League winner, four goals, legend. I would add him over Frank Lampard and uh, Steven Gerrard because I'm a United fan and I'm biased. Luis Suarez, legend, arguably the best striker to have ever played the game. Zinedine Sedan, legend, has to be up there. Johan Cruyff, legend. There we got the four big hitters. Pele, Maradona, Messi, Shoo! I'm gonna do the less controversial take. Maradona, GOAT. Maradona's in GOAT because it's Maradona. Then we got Pele. Okay, this is gonna be controversial. Get ready for this one. Seen overrated. Oh, let's just hold on. No, I'm not having this. I'm what, not having what, this. What's no, 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 what's no, 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 no. He did not play in Europe. Yes, he won the World Cup many of times. Bruv, he played in the Brazilian League. He played for Santos and New York Cosmos. He scored all their goals in those leagues. No doubt, he's one of the best players to ever play the game. I just feel like he's a bit overrated. When, like, when people say he's over Maradona, Messi, Ronaldo, I don't agree with that. Then we got Messi and Ronaldo. Oh, we all know where they're gonna go. Who's the GOAT out of these two? That's the real question. Josh, who do you prefer? Messi or Ronaldo? Oh no, there is no preference because it's Messi. Of course it's Messi. He won the World Cup. Ronaldo didn't. Messi is the greatest football player of all time. Saying that through gritted teeth. Uh, I'm a Ronaldo fan. I, 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 I feel like the nail in the coffin in the Ronaldo-Messi debate was always the World Cup. Messi won the World Cup and the debate ended. Messi has more Ballon d'Ors, even though some Ballon d'Or wins was a bit sketchy. Uh, there was one year Virgil van Dijk should have won it. There was one year that uh, Robin Lewandowski should have won it. And here's what it is. He's probably going to win it again this year, which he doesn't deserve, even though he won the World Cup. I feel like Erling Haaland deserves the Ballon d'Or this year. But yeah, it is what it is. But this is my tier list of football goats. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the tier list. Some people will be like, oh, your ball knowledge is ass. You know what? Make your own bloody video. Yeah? Give us your opinion. Let's hear your opinion. How about that? Uh, let me know down in the comments what changes you guys will make. Uh, I feel like this is a decent list. Hope to check you guys in the next video. Remember, please like and subscribe. It's for free. Verse of the day is down below in the description. I hope you guys read it. God loves you. I love you. Look after yourselves. Have a great day.